What's going on? This your boy Aristotle. I'm back with another Sunday's watch list. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm overall thinking of the market. So let's get right into it. And the first stock I want to look at is, of course, SPY, which is the ETF S&P 500, which stands for Standard & Poor's 500, right? So first thing I see is this long channel. It's been trading in for a minute. Right, so SPY, every time it hits this uh, support level, right? So every time SPY hits this support level, it bounces. So I'm noticing that, and every time it hit this resistance level, it rejects. So SPY is kind of in a no man's land right now. And then if we look at the tech uh, ETF, QQQ, um, we have the same thing, kind of in a no man's land it could break out, it's really in a range right here. So let's talk about what I see though. So right now I've been kind of switching my trading style to day trading until we get a nice pullback in the market, right? So if we see Tesla right here, right? I already kind of drew out the overall areas. And as you can see, it has now broken the downtrend. So if Tesla can get above, let's get this horizontal line right here, this level, see that green? If Tesla can get above that level right here, it's going to break out. So I see this as a five-star play. If Tesla can get above 700, honestly, 700.1, you know, 700.1 would be my entry for Tesla so I could easily uh, go right here and I can say crossing up 700.1 um, everyone broke resistance all right so 700.1 would be the line I want Tesla to do and get over and it will do a nice Hop, skip. So next one I want to look at Amazon. So let's see what we see in Amazon. Let's see if this line right here. Now Amazon has this 200 MA. So if I get these lines and delete them, right? And I can even delete this line. So I also want to show you guys my MAs, the green line, 8 MA. 21 MA, yellow line, 50 MA, purple line, um, and this line right here is a 200. So if Amazon, if we bring up the indicators, right? Amazon is about to be oversold. Remember what I told you guys, always buy good companies at this mark. But if you look historically, Amazon always bounces prior to in this area right here. So if we look historically at Amazon's bounciness right historically it always bounces historically right boom so i'm looking at amazon right and this is how i'm looking at it. so this could this scenario could go one or two ways it could bounce here it could honestly bounce here so we have to be ready for that so let's see we got us a trend line here for Amazon but if it breaks down and gets right here it's going to bounce at the 200 MA so let's just say it bounces on this trend line and it pretty much did you know what I'm saying it bounced it's a nice demand area right here right it could bounce it has a gap to fill would not be surprised we have to watch Amazon just had some earnings and it's right here so Amazon is just on my watch now Let's talk about PayPal. PayPal is also on my watch for the same exact reason, trying to see if we can catch a nice trend line bounce. So I would like, so PayPal is falling. So think about it. If PayPal falls some more, hits this trend line, it's gonna be oversold and at this trend line, which is a good bounce area. If we look here, long-term, we have an area of demand here. For PayPal, third bounce, it could easily bounce right here, 
right? So I'm looking for PayPal to come down to this level so I can pretty much catch the bounce, right? Then uh, I think it was UPS I was looking at. UPS. So what do I see? I see a already oversold level for UPS. UPS is a profitable company. Let's see if we can catch some trend. Let's see if it's trending upward or downward. So I like to zoom all the way out, grab my line, and yes, boom. As we can see, UPS is a high probability setup. We finally have us a five star play. So UPS is five stars. We have a three touch trend line bounce, a, you know, accompanied by oversold marks. And UPS would be the one play I would recommend as five stars. The others are just I'm watching for. And then we have FedEx, which is cousin company of UPS, and they kind of moving, you know, not cousins, but you know, they're competition. This one is close to being oversold. It's at the 200 in May. If FedEx can get above, let me uh, kind of do this. So FedEx is bouncing right here. If FedEx can get above 282.1, it should go, you know, bouncing off this trend line, going to fill this gap. So as you can see, FedEx has a little gap here and I always like to draw out my gaps. So right here, boom, right? So FedEx has this price gap right here. So usually gaps, especially on good companies, want to get filled eventually. Like if you look at Amazon, when we when I played it, when I showed you guys Amazon, it was the same way. And then we have Pinterest, my last one, which I personally want to look into. So Pinterest has failed all the way down here. And you always want to buy good companies in demand zones and areas where there's dips. So Pinterest, I honestly believe they have a future somehow, some way, if, if they have, Pinterest could honestly improve, of course, but I'm definitely looking at them and I'm definitely, they're on my watch as far as adding to long-term portfolios. I need to see their balance sheets. I need to see uh, what makes this company profitable because personally, you know, I'm not, a user of the app or a big fan of the app. Or I do use the app to find ideas, but I gotta go check these guys out. So definitely put Pinterest on your watch for long-term ads. Now, if they can drop lower past this support right here, so it's already kinda, so we move this line down here. If it could come down lower, this is a good area to buy. But if it could honestly break this, that would be dope. I would definitely buy Pinterest. So I hope you guys, Enjoy this Sunday's watch list. It's your boy Aristotle. Make sure you guys check out my new book, Find a Problem, Set a Solution. Also, sign up for my course, AMU University, if you want to learn how to be a profitable trader. And also, don't forget to sign up for my group chat. If you want our plays, you want to see me call out plays live to you and this and that, and you have fun and just be around some balling traders and see what we're playing every day and how we trade. You guys have a great day. I'm Aristotle, and I'm out.